We've now reached the tutorial where I'll show you how to set up XSplit or OBS. They work basically exactly the same way with GoXLR. But of course, now you get the magical never ending window because I'm actually recording this entire tutorial, at least the screen grab parts and all of the audio directly through GoXLR. There is no other studio equipment in between my voice and what you're hearing. So it gives you a really good sense of how this product sounds when it's in a different application than online through Twitch. All right, so we're recording ourselves here. We infinite window of infiniteness. You go to tools, settings, and audio. And there's a similar path to get there through OBS as well. And you end up on your audio screen. Now it's interesting here that you have choices. OBS I believe has a few more, but you have system sound and you have your microphone. You notice here, I've actually set none as my system sound. I don't want anything else coming in. I want the broadcast stream mix. That is that mixed sound that we talked about in the initial uh, videos there that is your, your two channel stereo broadcast stream output. When I go to microphone, that's actually where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it as broadcast stream mix. Now that means that everything that's coming in is being recorded at the right levels. All you do is set your X split. So I'm gonna click okay. You set your X split level to 100% and it's going to bring in absolutely everything with no clipping or distortion. Really, really neat. Now, there's one little advanced feature. You guys can do this on your own, but when you're in the audio window there, you do see down here there's delay and there's a similar thing in OBS. I can't remember exactly the name of it, but it's like offset or something. Um, this is just the ability to sync up your audio and your video. The best way you can do this, because it takes time for the video to encode and often the audio arrives there a little bit earlier, is that you can get on screen and just do a big clap and then play the video back and you'll see that your hands hitting together may be slightly later than the audio that happens. So you'll hear the clap just a split second before you see it. What you can do is you can actually add a delay. So you're gonna actually increase delay right here. It's by milliseconds. I would try 10, 20, 40, 50, maybe jump to two or 300 and see if you can actually make the sound of the clap end up after the clapping, you'll kind of know then that you're moving around this perfect place. And you're like, oh, it was a little bit early, a little bit late. Once you get that perfect, you should never have to set it again, but it'll ensure that every time you stream, that the, your lips are moving perfectly in sync with the sound that everybody's hearing. So just a little tip and trick there at the end for you. Um, this is how you get it going in OBS or XSplit.